Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to quite possibly the most out of pocket video here on my channel. We're back on Call of Duty World War II. I plan on doing a different video regarding World War II, but while recording footage for that video, I thought to do this one here. So let's just jump right into it. Corporal Green, we all know her. She's the quartermaster. She's the one that gives us the weapon variants and she's known almost universally within the community as the Thick Master because of this. You guys have seen the image. We all know she's the Thick Master. She is packing it back there. But I wanted to see, was that image true? Because I played a lot of Call of Duty World War II back in the day, and I don't remember her being that thick. In fact, she was sitting most of the time, which will explain why her ass got so big. So I thought to myself, while I'm recording footage for this, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to stare at the Quartermaster for a little bit here. And luckily, she was already standing up, so I knew eventually she would turn around, and we could get a proper assessment as to whether or not the Thick Master earned her name. And as you guys can see, um, I don't know, man. Comparing that to the previous image, I think it's safe to say it was photoshopped. Either that or she stopped eating bologna sandwiches for breakfast after Sledgehammer abandoned this game. So then I thought to myself, what does she actually look like within the game files? And it turns out she was never thick, actually. I mean, just looking at this right here, this is her 3D model, not really thick, honestly. But let's go ahead and take this a bit further. Let's go ahead and check out other people in the headquarters and see whether or not they're thick. So checking out this random person over here, talking up this chick, he's looking pretty thick. Not too bad there, her herself, as thick or maybe even thicker than the quartermaster. And also just listen to how this guy tries chatting up this girl. He's definitely trying to hit on her a bit. Actually, uh, well, I, I, I did most of my going up there. So, uh, boy stuff. <laughs> I did, yeah, I want to do my part, so. Real smooth, dude. So let's go ahead and check out some other people. Le'Veon Bell, is he thick? Ah. Not really, honestly, you'd think for like an NFL running back, he'd be like massively strong legs and massive ass, but apparently not. Uh, Alejandro Villanueva, I can't actually find him in the headquarters. Did they remove him? Where'd he go? Major Howard, uh, not looking too thick there. The general, I'm not prestiged on PC, so I can't actually go up into the prestige area, but the general, I assume he's got like that old white guy butt, so probably not. What about this lady over here at the blueprint station that no one ever used? Ah! Uh, Wait, is that the same girl? I'm pretty sure, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I'm pretty sure that the headquarters is actually filled with, like, three total male models and, like, one female model, <laughs> aside from the Quartermaster, which is maybe why the Quartermaster stuck out so much compared to other people. But apologies, guys. I hate to burst everybody's bubble. I hate to myth bust on you, but uh, the Thick Master... Not so thick. So when it comes to Mythbusters, this one is busted. I would like to do some more Call of Duty Mythbusters if you guys have any ideas for maybe a possible mini series here on the channel. But for right now, that's it for this short little video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like and stay tuned for another video tomorrow, which will actually dive a bit more deep into World War II and like actual content and actual things about the game, as well as how they pertain to games like Modern Warfare 2. Stay tuned for that. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.